Well, a major fire broke out in the Terrace Heights area adjacent to Keys Road between Terrace Heights Drive and University Avenue in Yakima around 10 a.m. this morning. Helicopters and aquaplanes were mobilized and there were evacuation orders in place with controlled power losses for most of Yakima. We are joined now by our reporter Austin Powers who is live at the scene. Austin, can you walk us through the timeline of what happened today? Thank you, John. We're here near the intersection of Keys Road and University Place Parkway, where you can see behind me, the road is actually still closed as we speak. Just about an hour ago, we got a press release from the State Fire Marshal's office, who says the fire first started around 9.40 a.m. near Keys Road. And then roughly an hour later, power started to go out in, a ter in many cities, Terrace Heights, Yakima, Union Gap, and more than 20,000 people who were without power. Now, shortly after that, level three evacuations were put in place for the surrounding areas near the fire, and that included parts of Keys Road, University Place Parkway, and Birchfield Road. And Pacific Power at 12.15 p.m. said the number of people without power had dropped to roughly 11,000 people, and that number gradually went down over time and throughout the day many departments have been responding to this fire and that includes departments like the uh, east valley fire department yakima county fire district 5 moxie police department the yakima county sheriff's office and when i first made it to the scene right around 1 p.m i even saw hanford fire department apparatus arriving and state, fi state fire services are also involved with the fire as well. And all day long, helicopters and air tankers have been assisting the fire as well, John. But what is the situation now? Have people been able to return home? Well, John, right now the situation is that the fire is estimated to be at 60 acres. And as of right now, level three go now evacuations near the area are still in effect at this time. And homes are still being threatened by this fire. Now, when I last saw the power outage map on the Pacific Power website, it shows that roughly 250 people are still without power in the area. And the state fire marshal's office has also announced that the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Now, at about 4 p.m., the American Red Cross opened an emergency evacuation center at Terrace Heights Elementary School. And they say to bring prescription medications, extra clothing, hygiene supplies, among others as well. Now, if we hear additional information regarding the fire, we will keep you updated. But that is what we have as of right now. Right now in Yakima, this is Austin Peppers for Action News. I'll send it back to you, John. Thanks so much, Austin, and we will be back with Austin at 6 o'clock as well. And coming up on KIMA Action News tonight at 6 p.m., our reporter John Franklin takes a look at the resources of the firefighting operation and how our local firefighting heroes keep us safe throughout the year, not just in fire season.